Yeah, Doc, can you talk about what the Clippers are going to do and what you've already started to do in honor of Kobe and the eight other folks? Because we're seeing where some of your some of your players are going on the court tonight with warm-ups in the number eight and the number 24. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's a lot of things. Uh, obviously, um, the uh, shooting shirts were the players' idea. Uh, they wanted to to do that. Uh, a lot of guys, you know, the coaches are all wearing shoes and, and ties and uh, we're going to do more stuff, you know. Um, but the best way to, uh, you know, if you want to honor Kobe, and, and we talked about this uh, even on Sunday, is to go win. Not just win tonight, but win it, uh, you know. And so that's our journey. It was already our journey. Um, and then this happens, and I think our guys understand that, um, you know, if you really want to salute him, uh, you know, you know, he, he made a lot of sacrifices to be a winner, Kobe did. And, um, and so for us to win, we're going to have to do the same thing. Otherwise, we will not win. And so I think that's our journey now as well. Doc, you just said the coaches will wear a tie and shoes. Did you have something special planned for Kobe? And, and what was it like for you walking back into this building? Oh, it's tough. It's been tough all week, though. You know, uh, Sunday was brutal. It really was. It was a, it was a hard day, um, you know, for everybody, though. You know, really for everyone. And, um, and then coming, you know, just everywhere you go, you know, you're reminded uh, people come up and want to talk about it. Uh, I've been sending more pictures over the last three days, uh, you know, really personal pictures with Kobe and I at dinner. Kobe and I are different stuff. And, uh, you know, so it's been a tough tough week for me. It's been a tough week for the whole city, you know. Um, and, you know, what I told my players is that it, and that's okay. Like, um, you know, I don't know how each person should uh, handle this emotionally. Like, I'm not adverse on, on what to do there. Uh, I do know each one should handle it in his own way. And I told our guys to feel free, you know, uh, in whatever way. I think we're, we're reflecting. We're trying to a lot more now. We're trying to celebrate his life now uh, as well. Uh, I think we've gotten over the shot, which I don't know we have yet. So. That's where I'm at. Hey, Doc, as you've been trying to get through this week, what are, have been the main memories that have been sticking with you the most regarding COVID? Our conversations. You know, um, I would say, and the games, obviously. Uh, I had a front row seat uh, in uh, two great series, you know, uh, finals in Boston. You know, 2008, I probably like a little bit more than 2010 for sure. Uh, but they both were epic. You know, um, I remember after 2008, um, you know, a teary-eyed Kobe, uh, you know, basically, you know, we, we talked for a good couple minutes and, you know, he was uh, very humble and he congratulated and then he said, but I will be back and, I, uh, and I'm coming back. That, he was being nice and he was being Kobe at the same time. Uh, and unfortunately, he did exact his revenge on us in, uh, in 2010. So, you know, there's a lot of those moments in, uh, that, that I can reflect on. Uh, your sister, of course, Talu, played with yeah. Kobe. How is he dealing with this? And what uh, he's he struggling. Do? You know, um, you know, Sunday, like, uh, that, again, that was just, that game was, was just an awful game. It, it really was, and for both teams, you know. Uh, but, you know, in the middle of the game, I turned to Ty, uh, asked Ty a question, and he couldn't. I mean, he was, he was crying and literally couldn't function, you know, uh, because he had a very personal relationship with him as a player, you know, as a teammate, uh, and then as a friend after that. So, um, you know, he's doing the best. They all are. You know, Kawhi and him had a very good relationship, a uh, very close relationship. Spends a lot of time together this summer. Um, and so they all have, uh, you know, it's, it's – you know, this is not one of those things that goes away right away, and I don't know when it goes away. Hey, Coach, you guys haven't played since Sunday, practiced, yeah. practiced the other day. Yeah. How much preparation goes into actually playing the Kings tonight? And then your, your, um, your thoughts about ch uh, the challenges De'Aaron Fox brings to the court? Well, we, 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 um, we canceled. We were supposed to practice. You know, when we canceled the game, we were going to practice. And... Um, you know, I sent out a, a text to a couple of the players, uh, I think it was four players, just to ask what they thought, what their feelings were about practice. 
and it was a no. <laughs> uh, and it was not because they didn't want to practice. I didn't, they were just not ready. And so we gave them that day off, too. Uh, and then we had our first practice yesterday. Uh, didn't do a lot of live stuff, so we haven't played, you know, up and down in, in four, four days now. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, I think we're ready for the game. I think um, the best part about sports, or I guess the same thing would be any entertainer, when you're on your stage, you know, you can block a lot of stuff off. It's when you're off the stage, uh, to me, is, is when it gets to you the most. Doc, is uh, Paul playing tonight? Yes. Is Pat? Yes. And then kind of along what you just said, is that the hope? I mean, you've had to coach through personal tragedy and stuff. Is that is that some of the hope is that you can lose yourself a little bit in the work? Yeah, you know, you do. Um, you, you really do. Uh, some have the ability to do it better than others, and some don't even have the ability to do it. And, you know, as a player, you know, you do it or not, as a coach, you watch, and you try to decide who is and who isn't. Uh, and then you react from there. All right, guys. Well, thank you. Thanks,